I'm John Massey, and I'm the game logic programmer on Darkfall on Holy Wars. Clems are very important in Darkfall on Holy Wars. They're not just a way for friends to play together, but they're a lot of the features of the end of the game are reserved on for clans. Uh, Aegon is a dangerous place, and you can't really survive alone. So you need help uh, to com complete tasks and progress. The clan system that we had in the original game were, was already quite mature, very well developed. Uh, the only things that we've focused on changing were to, in, in, to increase the players' uh, feeling of freedom in their, to structure their clans how they want, to increase their feeling of control over the landscape, over the world, and just generally better ways to structure themselves, to organize themselves. One of the ways that the, in the original game, the structure of clans was dictated by a ranking system, which was very rigid. It wasn't very f easy to choose a path. So for the new game, for Darkfall on Holy Wars, we've uh, separated out all the features and the functions of a clan and assigned individual permissions to each one that can be assigned on an individual basis to specific members, so that a single member in a clan can take on a very specific role now. They can be given all the permissions and access to that specific area of the clan without having to require them to have access to other parts of the clan. So they can focus on their job and do it the best they can without uh, affecting other aspects of the clan. In the original game, the access to the clan vault was part of the structure of ranks. So if you wanted to give somebody access to a part of the clan that was ab above that rank, they had to have access to the clan vault uh, as well, uh, which you might not necessarily want. Whereas now you can assign the individual withdraw deposits or view permissions to an individual member, even on a temporary basis, if you want them to be able to access the clan vault and then to withdraw something and then remove their access, you're free to do that now. There's much more freedom. We wanted to try and improve or increase the clan's sense of ownership in the world. So rather than having isolated areas of ownership dotted around the map, we wanted to try and bring the clans together into a, a region that they controlled everything. And when we were looking at ways to do this, we saw villages as the key. Uh, with, in Darkfall and Holy Wars, villages are becoming a major source of resources. So control of villages is very important. So we've linked villages to the nearby hamlets and cities. And the clan that controls the hamlet or city has access to capturing the villages in their area. And there's a lot of overlap between neighboring uh, cities. So clans from neighboring territories will be fighting for the control of the villages across their border. And this will give uh, clans, we hope, this will give clans a reason to consolidate their power base and expand their borders bit by bit to take absolute control of the villages in their area. In the original game, the villages were free for everybody, so we didn't want it to feel like we're locking the villages down so that only certain clans that own cities are able to participate in the resource gathering from villages. So there's a mechanic where you can pillage or steal from the villages. Uh, and everybody can take part in this. So the villages are still free for all, in a sense, while still giving better resource rewards to the clan that's, that rules that region.